Bye guys, Leanna here. Playing the escapist. This is my last escapist video probably. I usually only try to stick to a game for a week because then otherwise it gets boring for you guys. Although a lot of people apparently just listen to these at, um, at, as like podcasts, but some people do watch them, so I want to be visually interesting. I think I might go back to the mountain because people like the mountain. <laughs> But uh, I, I had a brainstorm for Friday videos. I'm gonna keep this one short because I'm doing it late and today was really busy and it's been crazy. So, but I, I didn't wanna just have nothing. So, uh, I wanna do now a thing. I thought, hey, it's Friday. What's something we can make like Friday focused? And I realized, Feedback Friday. Hey, hey, uh, crap. I figure I'll do Feedback Friday. I'll go over some of the comments I've gotten or some of the interesting conversations I've had over the last week or so and comment on them and clarify. And because yes, clarification is a good thing. Constantly replying only to detractors is not a good thing, but I think clarification is a good thing. Some people legitimately, you know, misunderstand. And that's okay. We don't judge here. And he's got nothing. And he's got, huh, huh, huh. Oh, wait, this is gonna freaking go off. If, how do you guys get these things? Ah, game cheats. Anyway, so the two big things of the week, the things that got the most interesting comments to me were the video I did on the PAX cosplay rules and obviously the Anita Sarkeesian thing. And yes, my Xbox went haywire on me and I'm glad you guys found that funny. But first of all, with the cosplay thing, I just wanna clarify a few things. Uh, my, th this was about like, watch the video, it's there, it's on my channel. I'm not complaining about having any rule at all in terms of cosplay. Among cosplayers, we do have the concept that no costume is no costume. That's that's the mantra. You can't walk around naked with just a couple strips of duct tape and call that a costume. No. I'm not saying there should be no rule. My issues with the whole thing are twofold. The rule is very vague and open to interpretation and therefore open to abuse. And it's not that I think the PAX people are going to do it, it's that the PAX people, let's face it, this rule exists because the PAX people were put in a bad situation to begin with. And my concern is that people who are aware of this rule are going to use it to enact revenge on, you know, it's a rule very open to mean girl exploitation, meaning, Cosplayers who choose to cosplay in a certain way are going to be left open to being being shamed and demeaned by sex negative feminists who determine for themselves that their costume is inappropriate and are then gonna push the issue with the show. My really serious concern is that there's an element of victim blaming in the rule being under the safety tab of the PAX website. If it's an issue of booth professionalism, that shouldn't be under safety, right? The idea that, that sexy cosplays make a show less safe is victim blaming. It means that if, you know, it, it sends a message that if you have a sex, if you wear a sexy cosplay and something happens, it's your own damn fault. Cause what were you thinking? And that's not right. I think that some rules of thumb, all I'm really looking for is a clarification of the rule. That's all I'm looking for. That's it. I understand there has to be rules. There has to be, you know, baselines. I'm good with that. I just want to know what they are going in. Cool, cool, okay. The second thing I want to address is the, a lot of people are pushing me to go harder on Anita Sarkeesian. I, I can't do that, okay? 
I'm, I'm going a lot harder than a lot of any other people. But people start telling me biographical information that I just can't use, guys. And it's not that I don't believe you. It's not that I think you're lying. No. It's that I have absolutely no way of substantiating the claims. Okay? Have no way of substantiating the claims. The other thing that came up though is this funny little rumor that keeps coming up and I was just ignoring it because it's dumb. But, oh, I'm gonna lose all my stuff. No, suck. This funny rumor keeps coming up that I'm a flip-flopper or a liar or something like that because I quit Gamergate and came back. I, I, I know, I'm pausing to give you a moment of going, what? And I'm pretty sure, I've, I've tried to address this comment to the people making it, but the minute I respond to their tweets, they just stop communicating. They just get butthurt and salty and screw off instead of actually having dialogue or communication. And that's intensely frustrating because I want to find out what the hell is going on. The only thing I can think of is that it comes from an article I wrote back in September about why I was no longer able to cover Gamergate objectively as a journalist. I never said I was not going to participate in it. I never said I was going to cut off contact with people. I said I could not objectively write about it as news, as a journalist. That is what I said, okay? And that is true. There was a point in time where it just got too nutty and it got too intense. And I, I realized, you know, my, I don't have, my emotions are in this. I'm being personally affected. I cannot cover this, you know, in, in a way that I could be certain was fair. I never said I was not gonna participate anymore. It's silly. But that's how th these things grow. That's how these things grow in the telling. So I just wanted to have somewhere, because I know that people are all like, put it somewhere, put it somewhere, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm putting it somewhere. This is me explaining what's going on here. So those are my two bits of Feedback Friday comments. And I'll, I'll have better stuff next Friday because I just decided to do this as a feature. Obviously, you know, feedback and responding to criticisms is a, is a big deal. So I thought it would be cool to actually put it as a, as a function of my YouTube channel. And it's a way of creating a bit of dialogue, right? I mean, dialogue's always good. So, what I'm hoping for for the weekend is that we can have respectful dialogue about things. Because I can't, I can't deal with drama. I, I can talk about events. I can't talk about drama, right? Because I gotta be very careful now because people like to take shots at me, I respond and then I get accused of drama and that doesn't help anybody, right? So I, I gotta pick my battles and I gotta be careful. So if there's something you want me to talk about on this channel, please let me know but try to understand that it's gotta be an issue with some semblance of facts in it, okay? Instead of just people's opinions, and it's gotta be about an actual issue related to video games, not whether or not someone is a cool person or not. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you know, I can't, I can't spend YouTube time saying whether I like somebody or not. That's, that's not, uh, I, I take the reputation I've tried so hard to build and flush it down the toilet doing that. It's not a question of whether I like somebody or not. It's a question of whether I think a person personifies an issue that is worth talking about without malice and without personalizing it. And yes, I will use Anita Sarkeesian or, you know, Brianna Wu and Brad. Wardell. Is it Wardell or Wardell? Somebody tell me on Twitter how to pronounce the dude's name, please. Because I just found out it was, it's Lee Alexander. Lee Alexander. 
If I ever called somebody with that spelling of, of the name Lee, my stepfather would smack me. He's from Manchester. That's not pronounced Lee in Manchester. Lee is L-E-E, -E, or with me, it's L-I. Not L-E-I-G-H. It's a different pronunciation. It's Leia. Like shillelagh. And shillelaghs are cool weapons. <laughs> weapons. It all comes back to weapons. Alright. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Told you it was gonna be short. Told you it was gonna be short. But send me recommendations for discussion topics. Preferably over Twitter. Because I would like to read YouTube comments more. But I, I fully admit I don't do it as often as I should. I do read them. I do read them. Just not as often as I should. Okay, guys, have a great weekend, and we'll see you Monday.